Now, once you've made your recording, we can go in and isolate data on particular tracks and perform edits. Things like erase, delete, insert, and so on. So let's have a look at the track erase. How do we do it? Well, let's suppose we want to get rid of a couple of the, uh, the bars in the bass section. F3, track, edit. Menu 1, erase, enter. Now, target track. Well, I recorded the bass on track 1, so I select track 1. From which measure would I like to start erasing? Let's say measure 2. And how long do I want to erase for in terms of measures? Do I want to erase just for one measure at measure 2 or for the whole recording from measure 2? And then the type of MIDI message that I want to erase. It might be note data, but it might not. You can target any of the other kinds of MIDI message using status control. Let's set it to note. And if you're erasing notes, then you can specify the range of notes to be erased. So perhaps you want to cut away everything above a certain point on the keyboard. This is where you specify the range. And finally, you can specify the channel. Well, if you're recording onto track one and it's part one, the chances are the channel will also be one. But it doesn't have to be. It could be anything. It's possible to record all 16 channels onto one single track. So once you've created the region, the type of message, the status, and so on, you then press F6, execute, and that will erase permanently what you've done. However, if you find you've made a mistake and you've erased something you didn't want to erase, you can always get what you had back by pressing undo, redo. This will remove the last edit made. And this function will work when changing parameter values in any kind of edit mode.